How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Last time, we played Hide and Seek with Zeke once again, then we faced King Dedede here in Snowland, and then we played the final stage of Dedede Go Go Go. This time, we're going to be taking on the extra levels here within Snowland, beginning with a very Donkey Kong Country-esque Frigid Fjords. Fjords, 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 without any further ado, let's get started. You know what we haven't seen in a while? That's right, if you answered Dune Racer level, you are correct. And you're probably gonna hate this like I hate it, because... I don't know, man, this Dune Racer level just mixed with the whole ice physic motif is just kind of bad. And also, I think I get worse and worse at the Dune Racer levels as time goes on, because uh, the timing on the jumps on the small stalactites is uh, not very great. Anyway, we want to time our jumps carefully in order to get a boost in order to grab the first treasure, the Penguin Chest. This sharp dressed dresser can store all your tuxedos. Do people actually keep tuxedos in dresser drawers? I think that'd more be like a in the closet hanging from a hanger thing and in, not in all in one piece either, like the jacket on one hanger, pants on the other, uh, your fancy shirt that goes under your jacket. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump for this boost. There we go. Obviously, our goal will also to finish the race in first, but so far, it's not looking very good. <laughs> anyway, let's get another boost, and again, and again, and again, in order to grab the next treasure, once again, through a stalactite boost, ju stalactite jumping boosting, the sleigh. Now, this is a sleigh that will always be, that is always ready for a snowy ride through the hills. Ah, oh, man, the sleigh. So, so good. I wish it was red, though. You know, like Santa's sleigh? I mean, the holidays were a little bit ago now at this point, but still, I mean, Santa's sleigh is iconic, right? Anyway, uh, now the final treasure here is something that I struggle with a lot, and it's going to be hard to remember where exactly it is, because there's a whole big section coming up where there's going to be boosts that I'm going to need. I think I'm okay for now, I think. Coming up is where I think the piece actually is. And of course, I get hit right here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be very careful and I'm gonna just boost through these. I hope I... I don't think actually the thing has come up yet. Let's get this boost. There it is, the CD to Snowland. There are three pathways you saw that we can go through. And somehow I remembered the correct one. Now, obviously your first playthrough, if you're following along, you might not have, uh, well, if you're following along, you definitely went down this path, or at least you paused and then restarted the level and went down this path. Uh, but your first playthrough, if you're like me, you didn't grab this on your first playthrough, so yeah, th this, this one's pretty hard. And that's maybe the testament to why I don't really like this specific Dune Racer level, but you know, it's it's just, uh, oh my god, I didn't even finish in first, wow. I guess focusing on the treasures gets you nowhere. And um, I th don't think I grabbed the five star bell patch, but you know what, honestly, I don't really care. I got all of the treasures in one go, so I'm actually pretty content with that. However, I will try to go for the three just so I can at least for sure get the bronze rank. And I was gonna say, I hope I didn't just end up with the two-star, but even if I got the two-star patch thing, I think I still would've got bronze. Well, not really a good bead total and streak total, but hey, I did get all the treasures in one go, which is a pretty rare feat, at least for this level in my opinion. So that's actually all that really matters to me. And I actually mean it this time. <laughs> And we also found the Holiday Gift Patch.
Man, playing through this entire world just makes me sad that this didn't work out to be the previous Let's Play, and how this would have been basically timed for the holidays. It makes me a little salty. Anyway, the last level here in Snowland is actually a pretty fun one, in my opinion. The Evergreen Lift. This level I really like a lot because you basically get to platform ride the entire way. And it's just so festive, we got the tree in the background and the lights are going, it's super, super cool. I really, really like this level. Alright, so of course we're going to be going for all of the treasures in one go. And of course, if you are not... well, actually that was a weird thing to say. Um, so this is going to stop every now and then, so you're going to obviously want to uh, redo the star and untangle that in order for you to keep platforming. Uh, and the thing is, it can be a little difficult for this level, but eh, you should be okay for the most part. Just watch out for some of the extra enemies, including this guy. Watch out for his uh, laser hadouken. Just, just be a little careful. All right, let's go ahead and pull that real quick, just so we get some extra beads. And now let's pull the star once more. We haven't missed our first treasure yet, but I do think it is coming up, so we do want to be very, very careful. Okay. Alright, be extra careful. And as soon as I said that, uh, our first treasure's not anywhere yet. Let me grab that crystal star first, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's be careful. Oh. Well, actually that stopped in its tracks, so never mind. I was going to say let's be careful of the uh, arrows as we're climbing up. And now that I said that, of course, that's when everything goes dead. Okay, let's wait for... Actually, I'm going to hold on to this because the treasure is right here. Okay, got it. Get through there. Grab the treasure, the very first one, the holiday tree. Just looking at this tree is sure to bring back... Good memories. Yeah, every every holiday I kind of get nostalgic of past holidays and past Christmases. It, it's just so, so good. Having uh, memories from past holidays is just really, really fun. Okay, let's be careful. We got these drill guys. We're gonna be ex extra careful, I would say normally, but hey, ice physics are a thing. All right, let's go ahead and pull that. Okay, now be careful if you get hit by these, uh, I love how they're basically wearing sand hats, by the way. If you get blasted by these cannon's cold jets, uh, cold beams, then you will get frozen in place. That would not be very fun. Let me go ahead and be careful of this. Can't just, oh, you can destroy them, actually. Never mind, I was gonna say, I think you can only ground pound them, but nope, that actually isn't true. You can destroy them pretty much every other way. Okay, let's be very, very careful. Do not want to miss this bell patch, especially considering I missed the bell patch, uh, the five-star bell patch last time. Even though that wasn't the five-star bell patch, I still want to be very careful. Okay. And I apologize if they're slow down. I can't help it. The old 3DS original model is not really great nowadays, <laughs> but it's currently the only capture card available anymore, and I never upgraded mine, so yeah, I'm kind of stuck with it. All right. Let's go ahead and be very careful. I'm going to end up missing out on this treasure. No. Uh, no. Oh, never mind. I won't miss out on it. Thank you for the snowball for destroying it. The star wreath. This sparkling holiday wreath is shaped like a star. Pretty nice. Don't you mean pretty super? Because, you know, superstar Mario. Yeah, no? Okay. Guess not. All right, let's go ahead and pull that real quick just to get another crystal star on our way to hopefully get a gold rank in this level. I mean, I didn't really care for the last level, but that's just because that level is pretty infuriating to me, so I didn't really care what ranking I got. All right, let's destroy that. Get up here, grab that five-star bell patch, which is super, super nice. And let me just destroy you real quick. Thank you very much. I need to watch out for the drill guy. I'm 
hoping that I can get it to hit that just so it dies, which actually worked out for me. Okay. Destroy that. Oh, wait. I need to get up here, please. Thank you. Get out of my way, Waddle D. Oh my god, I grabbed it. Thank god. The Quilty Court CD. The OST for Quilty Court. Why we're grabbing it so late, I don't really know. I think that's the biggest example of the time frame between a level we've seen or an area we've seen and then the <laughs> CD that we got, but I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, our star lift endeavors have finally ended. The star is now atop the tree. My god, this is a very big tree. And now we can go get our goal. Oh, look at the wreath up top in the background. It's so, so good. All right, I think a three star would actually give us gold, but you know me, I like getting the five star. When I can, at least. And I just barely got it again. Fortunately, I didn't really get hit in that level. Well, actually, I did get hit a couple times, but I was I was focused on the beads. I was like, oh, 2,000 beads. Oh, man, that's my streak. I did so good. No, I forgot that I got hit a few times. I, I suck at this game. But I did get all the treasures, which is what really matters. And that marks the end of Snowland, so now we can finally visit outer space and head to the next world of the game, Spaceland. Oh, it's so futuristic. Remember back in the day where the scientists and future people kept saying, Oh, in 2020, there's going to be flying cars? Well, in 2021, that's not really the case either. Yeah, things didn't really work out how people envisioned them in the 80s and 90s. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn, and next time we will begin Spaceland by visiting the future city. Until then, though, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later. That's it? What a rip!